Imagine ruling over an empire for thousands of years. Sounds impossible, right? Well, according to ancient texts, some rulers did just that. Picture a world so different from ours, a time when kings didn't rule for a mere decade but for millennia. This isn't a fantasy, but the fascinating narrative from an ancient text known as the Sumerian King List. This document, inscribed in Sumerian, was used to legitimize claims to power in southern Mesopotamia during the late 3rd and early 2nd millennium BC. It lists mythical kings who, it claims, reigned for thousands of years. From the first ruler of Eridu, Alulim, who supposedly reigned for an astonishing 28,800 years, to the king of Uruk, Meskiag Gasser, whose reign lasted 420 years. These figures might sound unbelievable, but they're part of our shared human heritage. Let's delve into the lives of these extraordinary rulers. Meet Alulim, the first ruler of Eridu who supposedly reigned for an astonishing 28,800 years. To put that into perspective, that's longer than all recorded history. Alulim was a figure of immense importance. His reign set the tone for the city of Eridu, which was one of the oldest cities in ancient Mesopotamia. Now, you might be thinking, how is it possible for a ruler to reign for such a long time? Well, historians and archaeologists are still scratching their heads over this one. The Sumerian King List, our primary source of information, was more than just a historical record. It was a political tool used to legitimize the rule of kings in southern Mesopotamia. The reign of Alulim, as with other ancient rulers, was likely exaggerated to demonstrate divine favor and legitimacy. But regardless of the actual length of his reign, Alulim's impact on Eridu and the ancient world was monumental. Now let's travel to Bad Tibera, where another legendary ruler held power. In the city of Bad Tibera, Enmen Luana held reign for a mind-boggling 43,200 years. This isn't just a tale spun from the annals of history, but an account etched in the Sumerian king list. Now you may be asking, how can a mortal king rule for such an extraordinary length of time? This is where the waters of history become murky. Some propose that these incredible reigns are symbolic, encapsulating an era, a dynasty, or a significant period of prosperity or change. Enmen Luana's reign, as recorded, would have spanned countless generations. Under his rule, Bad Tibera flourished. This city, known as the City of the Loom, was a hub for textiles, a testament to the early advancements in technology and trade in southern Mesopotamia. These numbers might seem fantastical, but they serve as a testament to the reverence and awe these ancient rulers commanded. From Bad Tibera, our journey takes us to Surapak. In Surapak, Ubaratutu's reign spanned 18,600 years. Now let's put that into perspective. That's nearly 240 times longer than the oldest living person today. Ubaratutu was a monarch whose influence etched itself deeply into the annals of Surapak's history. His reign, occurring in a time of ancient wonder, shaped the city in many ways that are still reflected in the archaeological remnants found today. Such a lengthy reign is almost unimaginable in our modern world. Our last stop is the city of Uruk. And lastly, meet Meskiag Gasser, the king of Uruk, who ruled for 420 years. His reign may seem dwarfed by his predecessors, yet it was still an astounding 42 decades of leadership. During his rule, Uruk flourished, its influence spreading across Mesopotamia. His reign was a time of growth and prosperity, but why was it shorter than the others? Perhaps it was a time of transition, a shift in the way rulership was perceived. These were just a few of the rulers from the ancient times who, according to texts, reigned for thousands of years. These rulers, their long reigns, and their legacies are a testament to the fascinating world of ancient civilizations. The first ruler of Eridu, Alulim, reigned for an awe-inspiring 28,800 years. His reign, along with those of his successors, set a precedent for the enduring power of ancient monarchies. In the city of Bad Tibera, Enmen Luana held the throne for a staggering 43,200 years. Over in Surupak, Ubaratutu's reign spanned 18,600 years. Not to be left out, the king of Uruk, Meskia Gasser, ruled for 420 years. These records, though astonishing, serve a purpose beyond mere fascination. They reflect the ancient Sumerians' concept of divine kingship, 
where rulers were seen as godlike figures with extraordinary lifespans. They also bear testimony to the deep cultural significance of these rulers in shaping their civilizations. Indeed, the tales of these rulers offer a glimpse into the mind-boggling narratives of our ancient past.